So what do we want to cover today? Yeah, so today um, what I was hoping is we could talk a little bit about how to change a final grade in a class for a student so that when you print the transcript, if you need a different grade to show, you can change it. Um, and then I also want to know how we can add grades onto the transcript from other schools so that they can have a complete transcript. Um, and then at the end here, maybe we can jump into some additional kind of tips and tricks and things we can add on the transcript. Um, so Steve, I guess I was wondering, first of all, can you just kind of explain a little bit conceptually about how transcripts work in GradeLink? Yeah, that's a great question. All right, so I got a slide over here. Let me pull this up. This is a slide that shows you how data gets in the transcript to begin with, and this is just sort of the natural process. Over here we have uh, the teacher's grade books, mm -hmm. and they're in here, obviously. And so what happens is the teacher presses a button called conclude, or an administrator can also press conclude. And what conclude means is that they are no longer going to change their, the, these final grades, and they're basically finalizing these records. Okay. So whatever the student got in, say, quarter one, has now been finalized and it gets put here in the student's QM folder. And that's represented by this manila folder with a picture of Bob Hope on it. So I don't want to date myself, but it's, <laughs> if you don't know who Bob Hope is, um, well, you know, I wouldn't even go there. <laughs> All right, so in this manila folder here, we have uh, the finalized grades for this student for, let's say, quarter one. And so let's say we want to change that as an administrator. Actually, before I go there, let me just say this, that report cards and transcripts are types of reports that look at finalized grades. Mm. And so what they do is they do not look at the grade sheet, right? They only look at finalized grades. So they look at the student's QM folder. Okay. Okay. And so both the report card and the transcript are looking at that final QM folder to figure out what they should display on the, the, either the report card or the transcript. Okay. So when we edit a final grade on the when we edit one, this is basically what happens. In the natural scheme of things, let's say you have a semester average. Mm -hmm. Now, this only applies if you do semester averages. If you do transcripts, this doesn't apply. Mm -hmm. If you do semester averages, then you, this here is kind of like what you would think of from Excel, the function average, and you're going to average quarter one and quarter two, right? Right. Okay. So if you guys are not Excel people, then basically if I had a B and an A, then I'm going to average that together and get like either a B plus or A minus. Right. Right? Okay. So when you edit the transcript, you are literally editing it. And uh, if you edit, basically if you edit the semester average, what happens is that formula is now gone. You want to say that 80 plus 90 equals 100? You can't. Huh. You can just go ahead and do that, and the report card and the transcript will reflect that. Now, the grade books don't reflect that. So if you're trying to do an audit, it's not going to make sense, but we're just allowing you to do it. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you go ahead and edit the quarter and you say that they got 100% instead of a 90%, well, in that case, the formula will go ahead and take precedence and it will average 80 plus 100 and probably come out with a 90. Hmm. Okay. okay. So when I edit the transcript, it's a way for me to basically insert a grade mm -hmm. regardless of what the teacher has in their grade book. Mm -hmm. And even if those grades have been concluded, then when I you know, edit the transcript and I insert whatever grade I want, then that now becomes the, the final record for that student. That's correct. And that word insert, let me just kind of go ahead and uh, talk about that for a second. Mm -hmm. um, I want to say that you can edit a grade and as well as insert, you can actually add new records that aren't mm -hmm. here yet. And I'll go over both of those in a minute. One thing that we do need to warn you about, here's the only thing that you need to be cautious about, and it's real important since we are dealing with GPA. Mm -hmm. If I, un when it, the way the grades got on here to begin with was concluding, right? So let me go back here. When I conclude a class, it takes the grade from the grade book and puts it here as a permanent record, which is effectively putting it on the transcript. When you unconclude a class, it takes it off the permanent record and just makes it only available in the, in the, in the grade sheet. In the grade sheet, thanks. So if you had made a change, let's say a student got, I don't know, an A, and then you concluded it, and it shows here the A. And then you change that A, and you say, no, nope, they got a B. When you unconclude that class, you're removing it from the transcript. That's gone. Hmm. When they reconclude it, what's it put it back as? Puts it back as an A again, right? Mm -hmm. So unconcluding classes will, will always take precedence over any edits you made because it, you're removing right. those grades altogether. 
Okay, so can I just reiterate just to make sure I'm understanding what you're saying? So if I change a grade on a transcript and then I go into the corresponding grade sheet and reconclude that grade sheet, then any change I made to the transcript no longer applies. Right, and that's because when you conclude a class, you are adding something. When you unconclude, you are taking it away. And so when you take when you take it away, it's, it's no longer there to be edited anymore, right? See. All right, let me just go ahead and um, let's drill that in a little bit by just looking at an example. Okay, so um, over here in this English class, let's say uh, Amelia Earhart, she got a B in 88%, mm -hmm. right? Now, if I want to go ahead and modify that grade, I can. And actually, if I want to get it on the transcript, what I do is I press this button that says conclude. Okay. Okay, conclude. This can be done by a teacher or an administrator. Okay, so now this shows up in purple. It means it's on the transcript and on the report card. It's a finalized record. Okay. So she's got a B, 88%. If I go ahead and run her report card, we will see that she has a B in 88%. And I'll just go ahead and do that right now. Okay. Give me the error. And let's go. Okay, here she is, 88%. For English. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to unconclude that class. Actually, well, I should follow my example more. Let's go ahead and, and edit that class. So I'm going to go here to transcripts and I'm going to click edit grades. And I'm going to pull up uh, trimester 2, 2013, 2014. I'm going to find Amelia Earhart. I'm going to find her English class. Okay, she's got 88%. Let's give her, what do we want? Uh, how about 100? 100, 101. Perfect. 101%. I'm going to go ahead and hit save here. Okay, great. So let's go look at her report card again. So this is going to change to 101. I'm just going to refresh the report card right here. It's just a quick trick. All right. Now it says 101, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So if I look at her grade sheet, did she get 101? No. Let's look at it. She's got an 88, right? Right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you this is the something that you need to be aware of so you don't make a mistake here. Let's just go in back to our drawing here. She had an 88 here, right? We put it in here and then we changed it to 101. Whoops. 101. Okay. If I unconclude the class, I'm taking away these, this grade and I'm, it's just not there in the transcript anymore, right? Right. And when I reconclude it, what's going to show up again? Well, whatever's in the grade book. And what's in the grade book is 88. Okay. So let's do that. I'm going to unconclude this class. Okay, great. So now I'm going to run the report card, and this 101 is now going to not be there anymore. Why? Because hmm. I unconcluded it. Only concluded stuff is on the report card and transcript. Reload, and it's gone, right? Okay. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to conclude it, and it's going to say, all right, take this and put it back on the, uh, in their Qum folder again. Conclude. Okay, so now this is going to show up in her Qum folder, and her report card is being um, to re coming from the Qum folder. So here we go, 88 again, right? Okay. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. So if I make a change on the transcript, but then I <coughs> unconclude the class, it's going to take away the change I made, and then if I reconclude the class, then it's going to put whatever was on that grade sheet onto the transcript and the report cards. Right. Okay. Yes, that's correct. Okay, good. Glad we talked about that. All right, let's talk about the next section, how to add grades from other schools. Okay. Okay? So um, for that, I'm going to show you a transcript. Hey, Steve, can I ask you a question real quick just sure. about the transcript? So I like how I can change the grades on the report cards. If I make a change on the transcript um, as well, like, like let's say, can you can you pull up Amelia's uh, transcript sure. for me? Okay, perfect. Like let's say that. Um, oh, you know, sorry, I got to change your options here. Oh, okay. Uh, so now you're showing all the classes from. Um, I'll go into that in a second. Yeah. Okay. All right. So like let's say I just want to print her transcript, but um, maybe that creative writing class she has an A minus. How do I change it on the transcript so that 
maybe she actually got a B plus in that creative writing class in trimester one. Okay, so right here. So you want to say she got a B plus? Right. Well, two ways, right? So let me just show you the diagram here. Um, so we're saying that she got, what did she have again? She had an A, uh, I think it was an A minus. Okay, it's A minus. So in the grade book, she has an A minus. We put it here and we want to say, nope, she got a B plus instead, right? Mm -hmm. So two ways to change it. Number one, have a teacher change it, change it in the grade book. Give her, mm -hmm. the reason she has an A minus right now is because all of the homework and assignments and tests and things like that added up to A minus. So you could change it there, or if you want, you can just say, I don't care, it says here, I'm just going to overwrite it here, right? And so that, just kind of give you that example, is like the whiteout. Like, she got an A minus maybe in quarter one, we don't care, let's just overwrite it and put that instead. Okay, okay cool, so let's do this. Um, if I want to edit it in the grade book, then what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to go here to uh, classes and then I'll find trimester one, take that English class, and I would say unconclude, and then that would allow the teacher to go ahead and modify one of the homework assignments, et cetera, and, and change the grade as needed. Sure. Or if I say, eh, I don't want to bother with it, let me just change it directly. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click transcripts, click edit grades, and I'm going to find that record. So that was in trimester one, 2013-2014, mm -hmm. and the student was Amelia Earhart. Mm -hmm. I lost her. There she is. And it was creative writing. Right. Okay, so here it is, 98%. Let's give her, um, what do you want to give her? Um, how about like an 85? Okay, 85. Okay, so I'm going to give her an 85, and I'll hit save. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and run her transcript right now, and we're going to look for trimester one, creative writing, she's got an 85. Oh, perfect. Right? And I'm going to look at, she's also going to have an 85 there too. And why is that? Um, well, because we're, we're changing the cum folder, right, basically? Yeah, so 85 right here. Yeah, okay. we changed the, it's one place, right? Right. Let's change it in the QM record, and so both are coming there. Okay, cool. So if I want to just adjust a grade on the, um, I'm seeing how it's changing on the report cards. If I want to change it on the transcript, it's the same process. I just click that edit grade button. Yep, edit. exactly. So transcript and report card is the same thing. I see. Okay. So you're basically just changing the permanent record. Just change whatever's in this permanent record folder, and then it's going to update it wherever it's seen, which is transcript and report card. Okay. Okay, um, now, in that, that vein of changing records, I want to talk about a different situation, um, which is what if you have semesters with quarters that average into semesters? So we're looking at trimesters here, but if the semester one and two, these ones are actually four quarters, and quarter one and two make up semester one, and quarter three and four make up semester two. So in that case, it's a little bit different because you have two places where you can change something, right? So uh, let's take a look at it. Here's the typical way uh, semester average works, right? Semester one equals quarter one and quarter two, right? Okay. Now, you can change it in either way. You can either change just the semester average grade, right? Mm -hmm. uh, which is typically just, you know, use a formula to calculate that. But you can just override it. That's fine. Or you can change one of the quarters. Now, if you change one of the quarters, then the semester average will update and, and it'll still work the same way it did, right? Okay. Okay, so this is how it works. Um, over here, I have, um, sorry, here's another report card. This one is showing a semester one and a semester two. And so let's take a look at uh, religion here. So right here, we got a 76 as our semester average. Let's just change the, the total. Let's give her 100%. So 100 for quarter one, 51 for quarter two, and then we'll change that 76 to 100. <laughs> okay. okay. So let's do that. I'm going to go here to um, transcripts. I'm going to go ahead and edit semester one. And I'm going to go ahead and find Amelia Earhart. Um, there she is. And I'm going to do religion. And she has a 75 right now, 75.5, which is because rounded up to 76. And I'll give her, I'll do 101 just so it's obvious that I changed it. And I'll hit save. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Okay, and I'm going to pop over here to my report card. And I'm just going to refresh it. And now it says 101, right? So the math here is obviously incorrect. Um, but we did that on purpose, right? We changed Great. the total here, and, and so that's what it did. Okay. Now, what I want to do now is I want to show you that this one still is the average of the, the quarters if you wanted to. So if I go ahead and change 51, if I change that to, let's say, 
Um, Maybe like a 40 Yeah, or 40. Okay, I'll change it to 40. Then this one's going to be something in between 100 and 40. Okay. Right? So let's do that. So I'm going to do quarter two, 2012, 2013. And I'll do Amelia Earhart. And I'll do religion. And I'm going to say that she got a 42, right? Okay. And go ahead and save. Are you sure? Yep. Are you sure? And I'm just going to refresh this. And we're going to see that this is going to get changed, and as a result, that'll update. Huh. Cool. Okay. Okay. So, and that's exactly what happened. I see. Okay. So that's true. It changed the transcript and the report card. So if we look here, uh, religion in semester one, she got a 71. If I go ahead and look at her transcript, let me see if I can find it here. Um, let me just reload her transcript real quick. So semester one religion, yep, and she's got a 71. Okay, cool. Okay. So basically what you're saying is if I change the grade in a quarter, then the math will still, you know, calculate how you would expect the for, course, the, semester average, for yeah. the semester average. However, if I change the grade directly the, in the semester, so I'm changing the semester grade, then that formula no longer applies. Yeah, and it's not going to update the quarter because, you know, which quarter do they get? Right? Okay. If you change, they got 50 in one quarter and 65 in the mm -hmm. other quarter, and you update the semester to 100, it can't know, oh, I should raise the grade in quarter one or quarter two. So would you say, Steve, that it's better to edit the quarter grade or the semester grade? I'm, I'm um, curious. I, I would say if, you, if you're just looking at the academic, I mean, it's probably better to edit the quarter grade, I would say, um, because if you wanted to run a report card, then from the past, let's say, it would be fine. But um, if you don't ever plan to run a report card, let's say you're running a report card for this year. Mm -hmm. Well, then most likely you're going to show the, the two quarters and the semester. So in that case, well, yeah, you should edit the quarter, right? right. Because you don't want to see uh, something crazy like what we did <laughs> with the 50 and 100 equals Right. 100. The parents still think I can't yeah. do some basic math here and I'm teaching their kids. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, if you were going and, and editing if you were to say, hey, I just need to edit some grades, and I have no intention of printing report cards from three years ago, um, then okay, sure, just edit the semester record. It's a little bit faster. I mean, I don't know. I guess it depends on how cautious you are. But okay. both will work, yeah. Okay. Okay, great. So let's take a look at the next question. How do I add grades oh, from other schools, right? Right. Okay, so um, let me show you. It's pretty cool. So let's take a look at a... Um, over here. So over here, we have this student has taken uh, some classes over here at Awesome Academy. So Awesome Academy is a neighboring school that's down the street, and they're really good. Okay. I'll say they're awesome. <laughs> so let's say um, let's say this student Amelia Earhart wants to take. We had another class over there, so they took uh, English and math, and let's take something else, maybe pottery. Sure. Okay. So they're going to take pottery over here at Awesome Academy. So how would I do that? Um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on, um, so I'm going to go to my transcript tab and click Add Grades. And there's three steps. First, find your student that you want to add a grade for. So I'm just going to go here and put Amelia Earhart. And uh, here we are. And next, I'm going to go ahead and see if there is a term, meaning a, a semester or something like that, that's already in place. So over here, I'm going to look for my term. That's the number one there. Oh, so right here. There's a term called 2010, 2012, 2012, Austin <laughs> awesome Academy. Awesome and I'm going to change okay. that right here. And that's a mistake that's going to be adjusted next to my demo. Okay. And then I'm going to say, okay, what did she take? Well, she took pottery. Okay, so these are the classes that I have listed. Awesome English and awesome math. And so, hmm, if I want to add a new class, I'll click here, enter a new class. So let's say awesome. Pottery. Okay, and she got five credits for that, and she used the standard grade scale for that, and she got a uh, 91, and she was in uh, fourth grade when she took the class. Okay? okay, so I need to put the grade level, I need to put all those things on there, and I'm just going to go ahead and click Add, and so that's been added. If I go ahead and look at her transcript here, you're going to see here that it says Awesome Pottery. Okay. Oh, great. Okay. What if I want to add a, um, actually, let me just do this. What if I wanted to change this title? 
uh, from 2012, 2010-2012, I think, oh, you probably meant uh, maybe 2011-2012, right? Right. So I'm going to do here edit terms because that is the name, that's the term title, right? So terms like trimester, quarter, semester. Right. Okay. In this case, my term is a year. So I'll just change it here. And now what this does is it doesn't only edit it for Amelia Earhart. It edits for any kid who, or any student who took any class at Austin Academy during this year. Oh, okay. So when okay. I'm editing the term title here, I'm changing it for everyone in my school. Yeah. Every transcript. Exactly. Every transcript will basically, if you made a spelling error and um, you basically go ahead and created the, so right here you can add terms and then anyone who used this term, we can go ahead and edit the language for it. So if I go ahead and look it up again, we'll see here that it's been updated. Hmm. Pretty great. All right, now let me show you this. What if I wanted to add in another academy that's not on here yet and it doesn't exist yet? Maybe it's um, I don't know. Awful academy. Awful academy. <laughs> okay. So during during the same academic year, okay? Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go here to add grades. Okay? And I can add grades to a new from a school that doesn't exist or to my own school. So first I'll do awful academy. So I look here. Do I see awful academy on the list? No. no. FYI, here's a tip. Any any records that were that were entered by hand are going to be in blue. Anything that's not entered by hand is black. So black is the automated stuff. Uh, automated meaning anything that came from this conclude process. Anything that just jumped in there because the teacher pressed conclude. Right. So it's like already set up in grade length, basically. Exactly. Um, it's already class or something. Classes that you've taken that you've entered in by called like Awesome Academy, et cetera, they're going to show up in blue. Okay. So I'm going to go here and I'll put in here. Uh, A-W-S-U-L? Yeah. Okay. And now it's going to ask me for the date. You may not know the dates, and that's okay. All Grayling is going to do is basically use the dates to know how to stack this up in chronological order. Uh, so it's kind of like the order that it shows in on the Right. Okay. So if I want this to show, um, you know, probably <laughs> after the classes that were the 29, 2009, 2010, but before 2011, 2012. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter what dates actually you choose because it doesn't actually show it on there. Let me just put it on here. I'll just do the first. <coughs> and then I'm going to do uh, August, the 2011 here. And there we go. Now, uh, there's no classes that have been taught at Alpha Academy that are in my system yet. So that's why there's just nothing to choose yet. Okay. But once I add a class, so Alpha Math, is going to be added to this list. So I'll put in there five credits and what grade scale to use. I have standard grade scale. Now, grade cate grad category, we didn't talk about this yet, but I'm going to go ahead and say that this counts towards the mathematics graduation category. Grad categories are used for knowing typically for uh, which students in high school does this count for. So, for example, if you're a K through 12 school, you probably have, uh, you know, geometry is a high school class and that's going to show up on the high school transcript. Okay, so I'm just associating it to that. And then the percentage grade, well, it's awful academy. It's probably got like 40. And um, they're in fourth grade. Okay, the ignore filter, this goes right along with the grad category. Let's say this was, um, let's say it was awful geometry. Right, and that's a high school class. Right, so I need it to show on the, on the transcript, but I mean, Amelia's kind of a, a genius. I mean, she yes. took that class in fourth grade. Exactly. So, so typically, this would not show up on a high school transcript because the high school transcript is going to say, filter out anyone who's grade level um, so that it's only between ninth and 12th grade. Right. So she would filter it out because she took one and she was in fourth grade. Right. If I click on this ignore filter, what it does is it says, uh, don't worry about the grade level filter. When you run a high school transcript, just show me, uh, show me this class <clears throat> because this class is a high school class. Right. So normally it wouldn't show fourth grade classes, but in this case, Thank it you. actually needs to show on the transcript, so I check ignore filter. Right. So let me go ahead and add that. Oh, I didn't select the student. Okay, that's the other most important thing. <laughs> Let's go here. I'm going to add this to whose transcript? Well, I'm going to add it to uh, Amelia Earhart. All right. So I'll add it. And it's going to just add it, and we're ready to go. All right. So, um... <laughs> Okay, so see, this is great. We're, um, we've seen how we can add grades from um, like previous school.
schools that the student might have attended. So maybe something that doesn't exist in my in my grade link account, and I need to manually add in those additional schools and additional grades. And then you also showed me how I can um, change a grade for a class that is in grade link. Right. And let me just actually just kind of wrap up this idea real quick. So where is my awful academy? Oh, uh, there it is. There it is. Okay. So here's the awful academy, and there's the class that's so showing on there. Now let me show you this real quick because we're mentioning about grad requirements. I'll just touch on that for a minute. Okay. If I go to my transcript options, you can see I'm showing all the grades that were taken between K and 12. So if I change this to 9 through 12, then um, well that class wouldn't show up because she took it when she was in fourth grade, right? Right. However, we did say to ignore that filter. Um, and so we're going to say that that's a high school class no matter what. So these classes would basically only be showing if uh, she took them when she was between 9th and 12th grade. However, this class that she took at Awful Academy, uh, we're going to consider a high school class, so it will always show up. Okay, that was because we checked that ignore filter, exactly. or ignore filter checkbox. Exactly. Okay, got it. Um, so, this is great. By the way, guys, uh, just to reiterate, if you have any questions, feel free to, um, to type those out and chat with us. And we will um, try to address those as we're going along. We have a few more minutes, so now would be the time to send us your questions if you have any. Um, yeah, and then, so Steve, um, can you explain a little bit more, I guess, while we're waiting on those questions about um, graduation requirements? I see that that's showing up there on the transcript. What's right. about that? Okay, so graduation requirements, you basically can turn this on or off. Um, so if you want it to not show, or if you do want it to show, then you'll just go into your transcript options up here in the top, and you're going to just check or uncheck show graduation requirements. Okay. So um, what's going to happen? It's going to show the number of units that are required for a student and the number of units earned. And this is a little bit bigger topic than it is for editing transcripts. So um, we'll go ahead and set a link here uh, to to get some help on that. But I'll just go ahead and. Um, Actually, just pull up the link right here. Actually, I'll just put it in here. Transcripts. So we'll email this to you, but just so you know, right here, we have a grad requirements section. <coughs> and this basically just shows you that on the classes page, you can go ahead and choose which classes count for towards graduation. So if you're at K-12 school, you will probably say that well, geometry and government, things like that, are going to count towards the high school graduation requirements. But you know, fifth grade English and third grade spelling probably don't. Okay, so basically, okay. just I can kind of keep in mind that if I want to associate a particular class to a category of graduation requirements, I can do that on my on my classes page. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. All right. I also want to just mention a few other things here. Um, did we talk about reconcluding? Yeah, I think we did. We oh, kind of yeah, mentioned how that. when you reconclude a class that um, it's going to override any changes that you made on the transcript. Right, that's right. So, Okay, I want to mention here that you do have another option to show the transcript on the parent side. So if you go over here as an administrator and click on settings, you can go to parent, and there's an option here to show the unofficial transcript. So what's meant by unofficial is that they cannot actually print this out and hand it to the next school. It's not an official transcript. That's right. Like that. It doesn't have like the principal signature or yeah. something like that. It says unofficial up at the top and everything. Okay. It's just a way for them to see a history of their academic progress. Sure. Okay. 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 All right. Elena, I think we'll wrap it up for now. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to chat them in. If not, we'll be going ahead and, and uh, wrapping up for now. Yeah. And guys, we will be um, sending out a survey to your email. And if you can just fill out that survey regarding today's class, that would be great. We would love to hear your feedback. If there's any topics that you wanted us to dive a little bit deeper into, um, go ahead and just make a note of those things on the survey. Um, let us know how we did. And also let us know if there's any other um, topics that you want us to address on these webinars. We'll be doing these on an ongoing basis. And so uh, feel free to let us know what you'd like to see. Um, okay. You know, we have one last question before the music comes on. Uh, it was how to add the awards. And the way you do that is right here. You go ahead and just click on uh, the Students tab. 
go to academics, and then you can go here to um, tests and awards. Mm -hmm. And we can just add a record here. So like I've added SAT, honor roll, and so on. And you just click add, add one. And then when you go up here on the transcript, you'll see them pop up um, if we want them to show up. Okay. All right. I like it. There, um, you know what? I these, these particular ones didn't show up because I set the filter to be between 9th through 12th grade. And oh, these ones are all 3rd okay. and 6th grade. So if I uh, pop over here real quick, change that. Hit save. Uh, when they come back, I'm not sure if I have to refresh this or not. I think I do. Amelia Earhart and academics, transcripts, and we'll see here the awards. Yeah, here we are. So these ones were getting filtered out because they were completed when she was in grade level three and four, um, and I had the filter set to show only ninth through twelfth grade classes. Okay. Can you show me just uh, real quick where do I go to enter in those awards on the transcript? Okay. I just click on students. Go to students, academics, tests and awards, and then you can click. Add to add a record. So just oh, cool. test um, big house oh, award. An award, and then I'm going to say um, best dress. Best dress. <laughs> Most likely <laughs> to be very successful. important to communicate to the college. Okay, score. There's no score for this. Sort <laughs> order. The sort order meaning the the order that's going to display on. Um, if you leave it blank, it'll just do alphabetically. But if you say, well, this is real important, I'll put it one. You know. Okay. <laughs> And then on my uh, transcript here, I'm going to have best dress listed. Yeah, I might have to refresh the, the page. I wonder. Right. There we go. There we go. Best dress. Nice, huh? Very cool. Okay. I like it. So that's how it works. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions. All right, guys. Well, thanks so much for joining us. Uh, if you have additional questions, you can always email us at service at gradelink.com or give us a call, 800. 742-3083. Again, be looking for that survey in your email. And until next time, this is Lena and Steve, and we're signing off.